I'm really happy to have a bandsaw in my new workshop. However, the removable cover plate has seen better days. So in this video I'll design a new plate in Fusion 360 and then print it on a 3D printer. And that's a perfect example on how handy it is to have one of those printers in your shop. With a basic understanding on how design tools work, you get replacement parts for free. So with that being said, let's jump right in. First I created a new sketch on the bottom plane. By pressing L to activate the line tool, I roughly outlined the part without being too precise on any dimensions. Then I selected the project tool and projected the origin X and Z axes into my sketch. It's always a good idea to keep things centered, so I used the symmetry constraint to make all of my lines symmetrical to these axes. Now I started dimensioning all lines with the measurements made with my calipers. The old part is pretty damaged, but you can still kind of see how it looked like when it was new. Another two vertical lines define the inner slot width and will later be used to make two chamfers. I think these are there to give the chips room to fall down and get sucked up by the dust collection. I also made these symmetrical to keep the design consistent. Before finishing this sketch, I'll use the offset tool to create the inner shell of the part. The old one had a shell of 2mm, but I'll make it 3 so it gets a little bit more rigidity. Now I'll stop the sketch and use the create feature on all surfaces to give the part a thickness of 10mm. To reuse the sketch, I clicked on a small light bulb in the browser. Then I once again used the create feature, but only selected the inner faces. By setting the starting point to from object and clicking on the upper surface of the part, I can drag down the arrow to remove some material. I want it halfway through, so I'll go with minus 5mm. Now I used the chamfer feature on both inner edges and just eyeballed the size until it looked like the old part. Actually, the part should be done now, but I'd like to add some fillets to those sharp corners. 3D printers have a hard time printing a 90 degree angle. It will result in overshoot and eventually in some over extrusion. That will make the edges stand out, your part will get bigger and then it might not fit anymore. So with that done, we can actually start printing. Unfortunately, my printer is broken and I'm waiting for a replacement part. But my colleague Stefan from CNC Kitchen was kind enough to print that part for me. He also made some videos about Fusion 360 that you might find interesting. I'll put a link to his channel into the video description. I chose Colorfab's Woodfill Filament because the color matched with the bandsaw and it somehow made sense to quote unquote make a wooden part for this machine. It printed great, but unfortunately it turned out just a little bit bigger than in the design. So now we have a brand new part, saved a couple of bucks for a replacement and had fun designing and printing something. At this point I'd like to thank my Patreon and Paypal supporters for helping me covering my running costs. Thanks guys, you are amazing. If you'd like to see more of these videos, just leave a comment down below. With that being said, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.